Hello everyone and look what I've got here. I have got a brand new box, Play-Doh Sweet Shop Cake Mountain. It is filled to the brim with Play-Doh cake making deliciousness. Oh come on, that's enough turning around of the box. Hurry up, come on, let's have a look inside. Okie everything's out. Here we have our three different big pieces that come and we need to assemble them. So the bottom layer, the purple one, snaps into this white stand, helps keep it nice and steady. Uh, on the top of the purple one are also a whole heap of moulds, so don't forget that because we're about to cover them up with the next level with the blue icing on it. And it's got this interesting handle out the side. I wonder what that does. And the top level. Look at that, moulds on the front, moulds on the back. And it snaps in and there you are, one, two, three, four tiered cake. Okay, it's assembled. Oh, look, that's what the lever does. It pops open the top half. Let's have a look at what else comes inside the box. It comes with three tubs of Play-Doh, the blue, the yellow and somewhere over here, the pink one. Actually it's not pink, it's purple. It's the same colour as the base. And two special Play-Doh Plus containers which have got a very a much softer Play-Doh. Easy to push out with the extruder. What is an extruder you ask? Well I'll show you in a minute. And just for interest's sake, here's the three normal Play-Doh modelling compounds and here are the two Play-Doh Plus. You get a little bit less of them but because they're softer they do go a lot further. And here we have the three cake moulds. There's only two. Where's the third one? There it is. The blue one. There's a butterfly. There's a heart. There's a round one. And that's the extruder. It's a very fancy name to use with the Play-Doh Plus. It's actually a piping, like a piping bag, a piping syringe. There's a pink roller with swirls all around it. So it'll make some pretty patterns. Two plates because you need something to eat your cakes off. A knife and a fork because you need something to eat your cakes with. And because a cake wouldn't be complete without candles. Six candles so that you can have birthday parties for everybody in the house. Okay. Oh no, one more piece. This is the most important piece that doesn't look like very much because it goes at the base of the cake mould. It's the cake stand that it gets pressed down onto. So don't forget it or you're just going to be making mush when you press down that lid. Okay, let's put in the first cake mould. This one's a round one. And you can see it snaps down. And to open it up again, we have to press that lever on the side. Okay, let's make a blue cake. firmly on the top and oh popped open by itself that time and here you have a perfectly formed three-tier round cake or maybe it's a jelly that's all up to you let's try another one let's try this pink one with the butterflies purple cake this time and I think that's a bit too much but it will give it a go anyway. Press down and we press the lever to pop it open and yeah there's a bit of overhang there but we still have got a very pretty purple three-tiered butterfly cake. Now to actually take these cake moulds out you press down on the button up top and it pushes it out far enough for you to grab it and it comes out very easily then. Here we have our little blue cake. Let's start decorating it. Okay, 
Here's our extruder with some of the Play-Doh Plus, the pink Play-Doh Plus in it. And let's stop calling it an extruder, let's call it the piping syringe. There we go, we've piped some icing around the side, but still needs some more. Now you could do whatever you like here, you can grab little balls and decorate around with little balls. We've got two, here's three, here's four, and mm, it's still pretty bland, pretty bland, so let's add some decorations from the moulds got a little yellow star now. That's very cute. Let's put the cute little yellow star on the front where I squished the cake a bit with my finger. And it's still a bit plain. It needs something on the top. Get back on there, little dog. Something on the top. So maybe... Hmm. Yep, this yellow doughnutty shape here. Let's press it into that. It looks a bit like a lifesaver, doesn't it? Like a little lolly. Let's squeeze it on the top here. And voila, madame, your cake is ready. Let's put a birthday candle on it and it is your birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some more of the little moulds up here. Let's do some uh, multicolored ones. Who let's make the sides of this bow the same colour and the middle a different one. And let's just get a little bit of Play-Doh for each. It's too much Play-Doh there, but we'll just squeeze it out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And there we have a very pretty little bow like that bow a lot. Let's pop it back in the cake mountain to decorate the cake mountain for now but I will probably find a use for it later on but for now it's perfectly safe there. What about an ice cream cone with a purple cone and ooh, banana ice cream. Is it banana ice cream? Do you like banana ice cream? Maybe it's vanilla ice cream. That is a bit gorgeous too. Let's pop that back in there as well for safekeeping. Okay, here's a candle. I've got three stripes of colour. Let's pop them in for the multicoloured bottom part of the candle and the flame's going to be green. Squeeze it all out. This bonbon down the bottom here. A little sweet, a wrapped sweet. I've got some of my leftover colours and mix them in together. And they're going to make a very colourful sweet. That is very pretty as well. We'll pop it back. And we're well on the way to having the top of our cake mountain decorated now. Look at that. Now we've taken the top parts off and we just have the base because at the front there are all these little flat moulds which could be uh, cookies or donuts, it's up to you, but I'm going to make a cookie because this middle one looks an awful lot like an Oreo to me. So I'm going to take my trusty Play-Doh container, it's perfect for squishing out these flat ones. And there we go, one side of the biscuit. 
Can you see the little, the little patterns around it? It's definitely a biscuit, that one. Let's make the second side. Squish, squish, squish. two biscuit sides we need some cream this one looks like a good one for cream delicious yellow cream for the inside of our biscuit. Let's assemble our biscuit and put the base, the base on, green in the middle and the top. Mm -mm, that is delicious and ready to eat. Now, if you don't want to make your cakes with the cake mould up the top, there are also three partitions up here where you can make your own three-tiered cake. Or actually I think it's a four-tiered cake by the time we finish. We'll check it out. And this middle one uses quite a bit of Play-Doh. And look, it even says Play-Doh on it. We'll pop that very gently back in. And make the next level out of yellow. This is slightly smaller, so it's going to go on top. There we go. And there's one more over here on the right hand side. And it's a little one. That should come, little one. And See, there's two tiers on there, the little, little bit on the top. So there you are, your own handmade four-tier cake. Uh, hmm, I think it needs some decoration. So let's get that bow we made earlier. Pop it on the front. There you are. Now it's all decked out, ready for a party. Let's put the birthday party candles on. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. Oh, it's on our other cake. Hold on. We are five, six. We've got all our candles, but hold on. We need a candle so I can come and show you something else the lever does. If you get a nice big wad of multicolored Play Doh, stick it in here, press the candle through into it till it touches your finger. You can feel it on the other end, and press down. Then you will find that you have made. What is it? Can you tell me? It's a lollipop. Does it look like a lollipop? I think it looks like a lollipop. What does it look like on the back? There's, there's the back. Yes, it definitely looks like a delicious lollipop. Yum, yum, yum. All right, let's get this cake ready for feasting on. Gingerbread man in the middle, and it is ready to eat. Yum. <laughs>